Hello everyone, Bear here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a super easy farm here in Fallout 76. So I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the mission Forbidden Knowledge is back in the game. So this mission is the one where you pick up the technical data and you turn it in for some pretty cool Brotherhood of Steel themed rewards. So previously, when this mission was in the game, you could only do this once a day. But now, for whatever reason, you can turn this mission in as many times as you want. Uh, there's no limit on it. The only limit is the amount of technical data that you can find. And that takes us to our first place. You're going to want to come down to the White Spring Enclave Bunker and head on over to the military wing. And you're going to want to search every single one of these desks. Typically, you can find at least one technical data in here, but I found like up to five a few times. So this is the place to go to farm this technical data. So just come down here to the military wing, pick up all of the technical data that you can find, server hop, and keep doing it again until you have as much data as you want. After you're done farming up all of the technical data, you're going to want to head on over to Fort Atlas, come into this little workshop room on the right side of the building, and put all of your technical data up except one. By doing this, each time you pull a technical data out of your stash, it will restart the mission and you can immediately go turn it into Scribe Valdez again. Now it's very important that you do not talk to Scribe Valdez with all of the technical data on you because she will just take it all and give you one single reward. I believe if you pop a lunchbox and eat a cranberry relish for the XP bonuses, you'll be able to get 1,000 to 1,500-ish XP each time you turn this in. So it is a pretty good XP farm, but every time you turn one of these in, you have a chance to get one of these rare outfits. You'll also get four to five stim packs. Every single time, you will always get stim packs. So if you're like me and you're constantly pumping yourself full of stim packs, this is definitely the place to go to stock up on a ton of them. And as you can see here in this video, you just pull another technical data out of your box, talk to Scribe Valdez, it restarts the mission completely, and you can turn these in as long as you have technical datas. Besides all of the XP and stim packs you're getting from turning these in, you also have a chance to get some really cool apparel items, such as this Brotherhood of Steel Bomber jacket. So these outfits are still pretty rare because they have a very, very low drop chance. But if you stock up on like 50 or 75 technical datas and just go keep turning them in all day, you'll eventually get some of these really cool, unique rewards. Besides the apparel items, you also have a chance to get some T60 power armor skins too. You can get a knight paint, a knight captain paint, a knight sergeant paint, a brotherhood of steel officer paint, a brotherhood of steel paladin paint, and a brotherhood of steel elder paint. So anyway guys, that is it for me. Remember to go to the Enclave Bunker, the military wing, farm up a bunch of technical data, just server hop keep picking up that technical data from there, and turn it in one at a time to Scribe Valdez, and you'll get a ton of awesome rewards. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next one.